All right, it's the final race of the Wild West Zones Zone Group Championship Qualifier Series here at Indianapolis Motor Speedway on the road course. Qualified P9 with a 125.9 something, I don't know, uh, or 7 something, uh, whatever it was. Um, wasn't fast enough to beat best uh, Jake or Enrico. They were both pretty fast. By probably about three or four tenths of a second. Um, I just couldn't find a good traffic gap to really put a heater in and got no draft help at all. So uh, just didn't get very lucky in the qualifying, um, but it's a long race. So uh, in fact, it's a longer race than we've done in the past. It is a full 50 minutes instead of 40 minutes. So this will be a long one. Um, so just let me tell you, if you good like luck, this everybody. video, if you like this video, click on like if uh, you uh, like Thank this you. kind of content. Go ahead and click on subscribe. Good luck, everybody. Stay safe. At the conclusion of this race, we should have the, well, we not only should, we will have the final standings for this series and know who is going up to the Zone Group Championship. And uh, it's going to be a fun three race setup. Um, and uh, it's pretty exciting. So we got some close races. The track temp is 87 Fahrenheit, 50 minutes. Got some close races in um, in pro, um, the second and third spot. We need to follow car number seven in the right lane. Club is actually really close. Sport is reasonably close in the stack. Um, and uh, challenge, second and third are pretty close. So it should be a fun uh, fun ending to the whole, uh, whole kit here. Full parade lap. Right, Chip, get ready. Green, green, green.
seventh position. See if he drives that super aggressive defensive line again. Nope. seven I'm not sure I had overlap on you there. Sorry about that. Yeah, likewise. If I didn't leave you in the room, I'll take a look later.
So just so you know what I'm thinking right here is I don't need to fight Mr. Ayers right now. Because if we stay like this, we'll eventually catch this group up front. If we're side by side, we're going to lose a lot of forward momentum. And these guys are going to get away. Now, if I feel like he's slowing me down, I may be So if they did not touch you? Right now, I'm saving some fuel because I'm getting out of the throttle a lot earlier here from yeah. the one. Sorry about that bumper tap, Volker. Come again? I bonked your bottom, sorry. Decrease to 0.7. Is that Derwin behind me? Oh, David Coffin. Thanks, Bob. Let's see if he races me in the corner. P5. Well done, Chip. Nice move, mate. Don't be pressured. Keep your exit speeds up. in the pits.
Go ahead, Nico. Thanks, Randy. Two tenths off the pace in sector one. <laughs> okay, Chip. Pit window open. is now 1.1 seconds. Thanks, Mike.
Chip, come take turn one. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Joe. Yeah, sorry, I was hoping that was going to go a little smoother, but we made it. All good. Sector 2 is 0 0.8, off the pace. Sector 1 is 0 0.32 off the pace. Behind is now 2.1 seconds. Thanks, Mike. Sector 1 is 0 0.47 off the pace. Even. 10 minutes of fuel remaining. Take Mike. Not a good time for dinner to start repeating. Right? Sector 3 is 0 0.31 off the pace.
pulling away from the guy behind. The gap's now 3.3 seconds. Okay, Chip, we're halfway home. We think about six minutes of fuel remaining. Shouldn't check fuel while you're returning. If you're turning the car, you should be paying attention to the corner, not your fuel gauge. Tip right there. I'm here all week. Thanks, Brett. I got four laps of fuel in the tank. Chip, five minutes of fuel remaining, five minutes. Lock home in the gaps now, 3.8. speed limit is 55 miles per hour. Okay, Chip, we'll fill you to the end of the race. Alrighty. There's my guy. 300 feet. 100 feet. Doran, behind is pitting. There's a car approaching, watch your mirrors. Stay behind the white line.
terrible how that happened. Just terrible. The car behind is pitting on the right. Eighth place. I'm pitting, thanks. Sector 1 is 0 0.6, off the pace. Lap time was at 126.64. Okay, Chip, your lap time's pretty consistent. Thank you, Bulger. The gap behind is now 7.0 seconds. All good.
All right, Chip. 15 minutes left. That's 15 minutes. Yellow flag. Keep your wits about you, mate. Thanks, Freddy. Yeah, on the right. That lap was a Come on around me up here. Thank you. P4, the gap behind is now 7.5. Okay, Chip, you're gaining on this car. The gap is 7.7 seconds. I'll let you guys seconds. go here on the right. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Sorry, darling, that was a bit ugly. Michael. Fuck him. That lap was at 126.54. Come on around me on the right, Volker. Okay, thanks. Rick, pass right. Thanks, Randy. Sector 2 is 0 0.45 off the pace. Such a lonely track if you don't have anybody to draft off of. Like even with a back to draft off of would be welcome at this point. Because I'm just not going to catch Enrico otherwise. 
guys. Okay, Chip. Ten minutes to go. That's ten minutes left. Come on, let's put this hard work to good use. That was a uh, 126, 1.86. That's good consistency. Keep it up. The gap behind is now 8.0 seconds. Ethne on the right. Thanks, Michael. Welcome. You've just done a 126.94. As you're on the left. Thanks, Andrew. You're gaining on the guy in front. The gap is 7.7. You know that that's a lie. Thanks, Jake. Try to get that last apex. Keep missing it. Not turn it in early enough. Your lap time was 126.38. Thanks, Joseph. So I hit that apex, but the rest of the lap was shit, so... <laughs> Yeehaw! Oh, man. The gap behind is now 7.7 .7 seconds.
Okay, Chip. Thanks, Five Robert. minutes to go. Five minutes left. We're gaining on the car in front. The gap's now 7.3. Sorry, Dave. I'm too bad. Oh. I overshot the front. That's me on the right. Randall! Touch the grass. Come here, Randall. Keep going, keep going. It's all good. Gaining on this guy, the gap's now 5.7. Just two minutes left, two minutes to go. Can I pass you on the street here, Joseph? Thank you. Yellow flag, keep your wits about you, mate. We estimate you've got five Thanks, minutes of fuel remaining.
Thanks, buddy. That's two minutes left, two minutes. E4. E4. Okay, it's over. Well done, mate. Good finish. That was a decent way to wrap up the series. A uh, fun track. A um, little frustrating. <laughs> Rodney and I were talking a little bit after the uh, the race that it, it wasn't as fast as we expected it to be. And I think that that's coming off of the Daytona 24. Um, Daytona is a much faster track. Uh, the oval section lends itself to a lot of high draft speed. And uh, Indy, for whatever reason, didn't seem to have that same component. Uh, the draft wasn't as effective, or it was too short, or there, there, it was just really a, a interesting track um, coming coming off of uh, Daytona. Um, but overall, a good race. Um, Rick Reinsberg um, wound up with the win tonight in pro. Robert Cottle pulled off a second, and Shane McNeely got third. Um, we had some bonus points distributed out. Um, of course, Rick got uh, pole position for pro. And uh, Derwin got the fastest lap, which was a 125-187, which is moving. Um, and Stephen Chin, uh, looks like he's got a bonus point there. He does not. He actually didn't start the race, um, so he doesn't get any any points at all for this run, although the, uh, the sheet says that he did. We decided that since it didn't really have any effect on the final standings, that we just leave it in the, uh, the sheet as is. Um, in club, Logan Grotto got uh, fastest lap and the win. Um, Randall came in second, Brett Holmes in third. Um, Volker got the pole position for club, but unfortunately got caught up in that mess on lap one um, and uh, wound up uh, not, not finishing very well as a result. In sport, um, congratulations to Enrico, man. Uh, he, uh, he pulled out a, a really good race. He got... Um, a zero incident race, and he got the fastest lap and the win, so coming one shy of getting the full points haul. Of course, Jake uh, had something to say about the pole position, but uh, again, got caught up in that uh, first lap mess and uh, wound up uh, a little ways back after getting his car uh, fixed up. So um, I could not catch Enrico. I tried, um, but uh, managed to pull off a second place, um, fourth overall, so it was not a bad run. Um, but uh, just couldn't get uh, get speed out of the car uh, in the race for some reason. Um, I mean, there are a lot of reasons, but um, just could not make any ground on Enrico, which, you know, uh, that, that was to his credit as well. He was not going slow. Uh, he wasn't hanging about waiting for me. So, <laughs> so uh, I, I only got the second place uh, run. David Kaufman pulled uh, third tonight. Um, so, so good run by, by all. Mark Lacombe continues to impress. Um, he actually pulled off the perfect night. He got zero incidents, got the pole position for challenge class, and got the fastest lap uh, in the race for challenge. So full 38 points for him, um, doing, doing quite well there. Um, Steve came in second tonight, and Michael Burgoyne um, pulled off the third in challenge. Um, so that's, uh, that is the, the final race as a wrap. So what does that mean? Well, if we come in and look at the final standings, of course, this being the final race, um, this will determine who's going to the show. So the Zone Group Championships start on February 16th, and um, we're, we're going to be sending eight pro drivers, um, which will include uh, Derwin Kostanak, who pulled off 178 total points in our, our series, Rick Reinsberg, um, with 158, Shane McNeely with 150, Lyle Eddy with 138, Robert, Robert Cottle, man, pulled off 133 in fifth position, J.R. Gregory, 132, Rodney Campbell in seventh with 108, and Stephen Chin will be our eighth driver that will be going from pro 
with 94 points in the WWZ series. So congratulations to all of you for going to represent the Wild West Zones in the Zone Group Championship. In club class, we had seven drivers, so all seven will qualify. We'll be one short of full, sending a full stack. So congratulations, uh, Logan with 175 points in our series, Brett Holmes with 155, Volker Krebs with 152, Adnan Mardini with 151, Randall Ayers with 140, Brian Granger with 84, and Austin Bucket also with 84. Congratulations, one and all, for going to the show. In sport class, so um, I wound up with 176 points um, in the sport class, so I did win the series, but because I took on the role as the zone group manager, I will be one of the admin for the series, and that means I can't compete. So we're sending uh, drivers two through nine on to represent the sport Wild West Zones in the sport class of the Zone Group Championship. So that would be Enrico Gregorado. Congratulations, 156 points in the series. Joseph Evers with 148. Jake Geiger with 147. David Kaufman with 128. Jeff Rosenthal with 113. Matt Mardini with 106. Jeff Williams with 102. And Scott Rogers, our final, final qualifier, with 70 points. Congratulations, one and all, for going to represent Wild West Zones in the Zone Group Championship. And finally, we get to challenge. Challenge, Mark Lacombe, um, stellar job, all series, 184 total points. Um, I would be shocked if uh, he does not get promoted um, after the zone group championships are over. If he goes out and performs at this level, um, he, he's doing quite well. Um, so congratulations. That's just, you know, st stellar work, consistent, steady work, um, winning every race you were in, which is, is crazy. Um, 184 points. Um, Steve, 144 points. Uh, Chris Sari, 142. Robert C. Palmer with 135. Stacey Awada with 133. Andrew McCune with 122. Freddie Lopez with 117. And Michael Burgoyne. The eighth driver with 113 going to represent Wild West Zones in the Zone Group Championship. So congratulations to all of our qualifying drivers. And, of course, for the, the winners in each of the classes. Um, tremendous series. A lot of fun. Um, I think most people felt like we got to know each other a little bit better. Um, some of the newer drivers in the series uh, commented on how how great it was to, to drive with a group of guys, you know, week after week and really get a sense of who we are. Um, and that builds the camaraderie that goes into the zone group championship. So I think that this will be a, a good, a good championship for the wild west zones. Um, we are sending the same number of drivers as zone one, which is crazy. If you think about it, how big zone one is, um, we managed to have enough drivers to fill all of our seats, just like they do, uh, with theirs. I think we're one short in club and I think that they're one short in challenger sport, but, um, regardless, um, pretty tremendous to, to have the drivers have the, uh, participation numbers. So um, if you're a driver in this series and you're watching this video because you like following along with uh, with what we do and seeing yourself on camera, congratulations to you. I mean, uh, this this is all a result of a lot of hard work by everybody getting on track, racing together, showing up, um, and that's half the battle. And um, so this was a great series, a lot of fun, and uh, I look forward to seeing how everybody performs uh, in the Zone Group Championship. That is a wrap, though. That is uh, the end of the series and probably the end of regular weekly videos for a little while. I'm going to be involved in some series, some team series um, with Rob Cottle. He and I are still doing the Champion Motorsports um, iRacing Team Endurance Series. Uh, and uh, we have, actually have a race coming up at Spa on February 6th, so that should be fun. But... Um, I don't have any other regular series that are coming up until March. So I'm going to do some iRacing official races here and there, but I've actually done my math and I skipped a few races when I was prepping for Daytona and for some other things. And I don't have enough races left in season one 
of 2022 to be able to complete a season with eight races in a high racing official series. So um, for better or worse, um, I'm, I'm not trying to uh, round that out and race in as many races as I can. So I can take it a little bit easy, maybe relax a little bit, um, maybe do some housekeeping here and there. Um, I may do some uh, best of. Um, Rob Cottle, um, Jeff Williams, Jeff Rosenthal, and Volker Krebs, and myself, we all competed in the Daytona 24. Um, unfortunately, about halfway through the race, my computer started having some performance problems because of the size of the files, the replay file, and the videos that I was recording. So I don't think I captured all of the race, but I'm going to go back through some of that footage and uh, um, maybe do a highlights reel um, for the for the guys to, to kind of look back on uh, how we did. It was actually a really good race for us overall, but it didn't start off that way. We actually had a little bit of hardship early on that put us on our heels. We were in the pits uh, on lap 13, dropped from, um, I believe, uh, 18th down to 42nd. <laughs> and uh, so not a good start, um, but we rallied and we pushed through, kept going. Uh, guys drove an amazing race. We had several consecutive stints where there were no incidents, no off tracks, no nothing. Um, and uh, we made up ground. We wound up uh, about halfway through the race. We had made up all the ground we lost in the incident. And by the end of the race, we were in ninth place so we and and we were in this uh 14th split um so um towards the bottom of the splits but still that's a tremendous accomplishment to have uh fallen all the way back and to work our way back up um the guys drove great and it was a lot of fun so i hope i can do a highlight video for that um and and show you guys some of the the, the fun stuff that we went through getting getting to um what we thought was a, a pretty amazing accomplishment for all five of us to have uh raced a full 24 hours um, and in virtual, it's not the same as physical. We re recognize that, but man, that was, that was hard work. That was a lot of fun. And, and I, and I think we all enjoyed it. Um, anyway, I thank you for watching. If you like this sort of thing, please click on like, um, and if you want to be notified of any videos uh, that I release uh, in, in upcoming weeks, click on subscribe. 80% uh, of the people that watch my videos are not subscribers. So even if you're, you know, you don't care, um, if you like my videos and you want to support me a little bit, go ahead and click on subscribe. Um, it makes me feel good to see those numbers grow. Um, otherwise, uh, give me a comment. Let me know how, what I can do better. Or if there's a particular type of video or thing that you want to see me talk about in, in relation to what I'm doing with sim racing, please let me know. Um, give me a comment on this video and, and I will, uh, I will respond and will do my best to accommodate the request. Thank you very much and take care. Spaß machen Rennsport.